Well, it is a tough topic shrouded in shame. We're talking about mm -hmm. sexual assault. Experts say too many victims don't come forward to report an attack because they're often met with skepticism. Investigators point out it's the only kind of crime where victims regularly end up being treated more like the perpetrator. Which is why the city of Spokane wants to flip the script with a public awareness campaign. The campaign starts with all of us when we start by believing. Whoa. Unfortunately, survivors all too often, when they come forward and they share with somebody that they've been assaulted, the reaction is negative. And it keeps people from coming forward. As the Director of Victim Advocacy at Lutheran Community Services, Erin has seen people who deserve justice retreat into isolation instead. She says that's because of a culture in need of a monumental shift. If we know that when survivors come forward that they're going to be believed and supported rather than questioned and blamed, I hope that it causes people to be less likely to offend. Lieutenant Mike McNabb with the Spokane Police Special Victims Unit is leading the local charge to change that perception. I've looked into the eyes of a survivor and had them tell me what happened to them and the, to, to see that hurt is very powerful. He's also seen that hurt compacted when a survivor is met with skepticism instead of support. Working with these cases day in, day out, I've realized that there are some social norms surrounding uh, sexual violence, that some stigmas that uh, survivors of sexual violence have to overcome when they're trying to report such a crime to the police or to a friend or to family. There's no shame if you're a victim of a burglary or if your car is stolen. So why should there be shame if you're the victim of a sexual assault? The lieutenant cites a stark example to make that point. Uh, it's a pretty crude example. It says, my daughter died in a car crash. Well, that's what she gets for not taking the bus. Nobody would say that. That's horrible. But it really does illustrate why do we react so differently to reports of sexual assault than we do any other crime. Which is why Lieutenant McNabb is championing the Start by Believing movement in Spokane, marked by the first Wednesday of April. It's where we decide on that day and every day after to change the way we respond to sexual assault victims. Anything that we can do to help uh, these victims feel more comfortable coming forward and being believed is something that we absolutely have an obligation to do. Both Spokane Police Chief Craig Meidel and Mayor David Condon embraced the program as the start of a culture shift toward a more caring community. Coming together to say uh, that we believe you, we are going to support you through this. You just had a very high profile case within your department. We did. The trial of now former Spokane Police Sergeant Gordon Ennis convicted of second degree rape of a female co-worker. The victim says as the case played out, it was hell to go to work and she was shunned by some of her own co-workers. I was really sad when I heard that part of the testimony. And I know there's a lot of things that are complicated about that case because the perpetrator worked for the department too, but um, unfortunately it's, it's not an uncommon response. Chief Meidel says that kind of response should no longer be the reflex within the community or his department. And he notes for some that reflex is deep set. And I even have heard within the last couple of weeks people not even at work, older gentlemen, intelligent gentlemen, come up and say things that um, is trying to remove a little bit of responsibility from the suspect. And the important thing is, is uh, it's the suspect that did this. It's not the victim. And no matter what the victim did, it's the suspect that did this. Breaking down old stigmas says the chief starts with leadership and a program like Start by Believing to create a kinder, safer society for someone suffering. Well, I would hope that, uh, that more come forward, uh, that there is, uh, there is empathy and compassion uh, for, for that person. Um, and if there is a, a legal issue, that of course we, we take care of that swiftly. Officers will still investigate sexual assaults and hold due process dear for all people involved. But if someone ever reaches out to you to say they've been sexually assaulted, your role is pretty straightforward. Simply be kind and start by believing. Say, you know what, I'm sorry that happened to you. Let's get you some help. You don't need fancy words. You don't need an advanced degree in clinical psychology. Therapy is for therapists, but friendship is easy. 
and Start My Believing Day is tomorrow. And to mark that day, Spokane police are hosting what they're calling Cupcakes with SPD tomorrow. It's at Sweet Frosting's Bake Shop in downtown Spokane. So from 3 to 6 p.m., you can stop by. You can talk with investigators with the Special Victims Unit and also Lutheran Community Service Advocates about the importance of Start My Believing Day. Again, that's tomorrow from 3 to 6 at Sweet Frosting's Bake Shop on South Washington Street in downtown Spokane. And the upshot is really the experts are saying, don't ask why, because mm -hmm. that feels threatening. Just ask how can I support you mm -hmm. and that's not the legal process the legal process is separate they they do their own that's thing. the human process that's the human process so good job Jane there you go oh.